This video provides an overview of custom data validations in Origami. A custom data validation can take place on data coming into Origami from your carrier or TPA through an update, and on data coming in through regular entry. Origami's custom data validations maintain data consistency, regardless of where your data is coming from, which is an important part of keeping your data clean and accurate. To add a custom data validation, go to the Admin section. Assuming you have proper rights, click the Custom Data Validations link. Here you see existing data validations. You can create a data validation for a number of different areas, from claims to policies, vehicles, or even assets. In this case, let's create a custom data validation for new claims. As an example, let's say we've been getting workers' comp data from our TPA that has the OSHA recordable field blank. However, we'd like that field to always be either yes or no. With a quick custom data validation, we can easily make this happen. Clicking on New Data Validation brings us to this screen, where we can name the new validation. You also have the option to choose an Enabled status, where you can disable the validation, enable it for data entry only, enable it for update only, or enable it for both, which is done simply by selecting Enabled. From here, we can also pick the Update Action Type. This determines what happens when Origami encounters this condition. Here you have the option to raise an exception, raise a warning, remove records, and correct records. When you select an action type, you'll see a quick description of the action underneath it. Here, when we select Raise an Exception, you'll see that this action prevents a user from saving changes whenever our condition is met. When we select Raise a Warning, we'll see that changes are saved, but a warning will be issued. With correct records, the changes will be saved, but Origami will automatically correct the errors according to the conditions we set. Our final option, Remove Records, applies only to data updates. This option can be useful, for example, if your TPA sends you claims for a certain location that you no longer wish to track. This option keeps the information from being a part of your data update. For this example, let's raise an exception. With a data update, this means the update will stop until someone manually corrects the errors. For data entry, we'll be prevented from saving our changes until the corrections are made. Moving further down the screen, we have the option to include an explanation. A clear explanation as to the cause of the error is very important for data entry so the user can see, understand, and fix the error that has occurred. Next, we set our condition. In this example, we're looking only at workers' comp claims, so our coverage will be equal to workers' comp. Additionally, we're looking only at records in which OSHA recordable is blank, so we'll set OSHA recordable to empty. We're also given the option to create subfilters, which allows for more detailed validation options. Saving this validation shows us all the details, including the area, name, update action type, and explanation. And our condition clearly states that this custom data validation is triggered when coverage is equal to workers' comp and OSHA recordable is blank. To test our data validation, let's see what happens when we add a claim with a blank OSHA recordable. Going to Claims, clicking on New Claim, and selecting Workers' Comp, we'll enter the minimum information. You'll notice OSHA recordable is blank. Clicking on Save Changes shows that the save fails, and we get the following message. OSHA recordable cannot be left blank. We see how easy it is to add an exception type data validation. Returning to our custom data validation screen, you'll see we have the option to create any number of custom data validations with a variety of update actions and conditions. If you choose to raise a warning, you'll see a screen that looks like this. If you choose to correct records, you'll have to note a corrective action which is done by selecting Add Corrective Action. In this example, we'll set all blank OSHA recordables to false. For this example, you'll have to be somewhat familiar with SQLs. In this case, a true-false field is really a 1-0 field, so we'll set OSHA recordable to 0, or false. Testing this data validation, we'll see that if we leave OSHA recordable blank, Origami will automatically update this field to no. Returning to our custom data validation screen, you see the option to edit or delete your validations at any time, which makes it easy to keep all data coming into Origami, whether through data entry or update processes, both consistent and correct. 